guys, it's me, Nikki. Welcome, 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 welcome. Hey. <laughs> In today's video, whew, this one has been requested a lot. I think by now, everyone has heard of the brand She Glam. Mm -hmm. Does it ring a bell? It probably does. <laughs> A lot has been said about She Glam. People have opinions about it. People also have different opinions about it. For the longest time, people want me to try these products in a playtime video and get my opinion. But most of all, maybe step away from the opinion a little bit and just showcase how you can do a killer look using She Glam products. She Glam is a very, very affordable makeup brand. They literally have so many products. I've never tried them before. Today, I am teaming up with them. They asked me if I wanted to try their stuff, and I was like, yes, honey, I want to, so we're gonna. <laughs> I think a lot of people out there know about the opinions on She Glam. They just want to see how you can look good on a budget, because not everyone can afford the Chanel, the Yves Saint Laurent, the Givenchy, Charlotte Tilbury. Not everyone can afford all of that, and that is absolutely okay. You don't need to have the biggest, fattest wallet out there to create a banging makeup look. So today is a full face of She Glam products. And I wanna show you that you can create beauty while on a budget. These are very affordable. I haven't tried any of this stuff, so it'll kinda be a first impressions, but most of all showing you a bomb ass look on a budget. I mean, who isn't in the mood for that? If you're excited about this video, if you're excited to see what I think of She Glam products, baby, Let's do it. <laughs> All right, She Glam Beauty products. I think I'm ready for you. <laughs> so first off, we're starting with this right here. This is the She Glam Birthday Skin Primer. I have the pink version matching the aesthetic of today's look, and it says it's better for dry skin, the pink version. It's refreshing and non-greasy with a creamy milk texture. It's a treat for your skin. Users highly recommend selling points of hiding pores and moisturization, darling. Okay, are we giving Where It All Starts Cream a run for its money? Mm. Mm. Let's find out. <laughs> So, okay, when I open it up, it looks like sort of like the putty primers out there. I'm just gonna take a little bit. Oh, oh, so on first sight, it looks matte, but then once your finger goes in, it looks like this. Oh, okay. Doesn't have a scent at all. Let me just start off by doing this side if I see a difference. Huh? Okay, so, oh, oh. So instantly, it kind of blurs my pores. It feels nice and moisturizing, so I guess it's doing what it said it was gonna be doing. Yeah, it's definitely hiding the pores a bit, and it's adding moisture. I think this is a very easy-going primer to use. I think it's very beginner and user-friendly. It's like that go-to primer that you just kind of slap on and you're okay. Okay, now it is time for a foundation, and I'm going in with, because they had two versions, they've got the Complexion Pro Long-lasting, I love that, breathable matte foundation, but they also have this, the Skin Finite Hydrating Foundation. You know me, I like long-lasting and matte, so we're gonna go for that. And they say that this is a breathable, lightweight foundation with a natural matte finish, and of course, it is long-lasting. So I'm gonna take the color porcelain. I'm nervous about this, but we'll find out. <laughs> squirty squirt, 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 squirrel. <laughs> Now, She Glam also has this gorgeous fuzzy sponge. I love a velvet sponge. I love a velvet fuzzy spon sponge. I love a, or try, velvet fuzzy sponge. <laughs> because it has that velvet layer, I feel like it really blurs out the pores and fine lines once you apply your foundation using this sponge. I always use a fuzzy velvet sponge, so I love seeing that they have one too. Now, I'm gonna pick up the foundation and we're gonna find out how this goes. So we're gonna pick it up and here we go. Oh, okay. <gasps> oh, okay. I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't this. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Wait, I really love that color. She's leaning a little light for me, but that's okay because we're gonna bronze and blush and do all that after. You know, they said it is a, a matte foundation, but in my opinion, that's my opinion! In my opinion, it still has like a, a gorgeous little 
sheen going on. It is not the most full coverage foundation I've ever tried in my life, but hey, wasn't expecting that either. But it does have a medium, buildable type of coverage going on right here. It's a little bigger than what I usually use. Not that that is any bad, you know? <laughs> I'm having a good time with this. I feel like we're off to a great start. You know, with brands like this, I feel like a lot of times people just straight away go in with a negative attitude. And now who likes that? We don't like negative Nancy's over here. Of course we have to be critical, but we also have to remind us to keep an open mind, you know? Open, not closed, open. Now that I've been working with this foundation for a minute, it is setting a bit, it's becoming more matte. So it still has that lovely sheen, but it is starting to mattify a bit more. I think it's kind of full coverage by now, by building it up and all. This is, this is the foundation I see myself use. I don't have a concealer with me today from She Glam, so let me just pop on my own concealer real fast. Then we're gonna dive into some products that I know, I know you have seen on the reels, on TikTok. I know you've seen them. All right, be right back. I don't know what you are thinking, but I think my base is looking flawless. I just also set my under eyes using this. This is the She Glam Insta Ready Face and Under Eye Setting Powder Duo. So once you open this up in the top layer, there's a pressed powder. And this is apparently uniquely formulated to lock in that under eye makeup, plus fill out any like sort of like wrinkles and fine lines. And on the bottom level, and we're gonna use this after we use our cream products, is a loose powder. And this is a specially formulated oil absorbing face powder that will keep you looking matte from AM to PM, darling. Woo! Under the under eyes, it looks flawless. And by the way, the more I use this sponge, I need like 10 more of this. I love this. Now on to the products that I've been looking forward to the absolute most. I'm not even gonna lie about it. I'm gonna be totally up real and up front and up real and up front. Up front. Um, <laughs> you're lying if you're gonna say that you've never seen these little cutesies over here on TikTok or Instagram Reels. I know you have seen these. Wait, wait until you see the applicator. Then you know what I'm talking about. I know you have seen these. These have gone extremely viral. And part of me wanted to do this video just so I could try these out. Now, let me try the bronzer first. This is the She Glam Sun Sculpt Liquid Bronzer. This is a cream blendable bronzer. And when I tell you that this shade excites me because I am Casper the Friendly Ghost. I am see-through. My skin tone is so light. Pretty much every single bronzer on the market is either too orange for me or too dark for me. So when I saw this one, this one is in the color Soft Tan. This is so cool toned. Like I can actually contour with this. I don't know if you've seen my TikTok or Instagram reels at Nikki Tutorials. Ding, ding, follow me. Lately, a new trend is to place your liquid bronzer or your liquid contour super high up on your cheeks because it's gonna lift. So we're gonna do that today. Okay, so I'm just gonna take the little sponge applicator and apply. Oh my God, oh my God. That is so cool toned. Like I can not physically believe that this is existing right now. Okay, then I found this cute little brush. Look, it's a cat paw. You see? It's a meow, it's a cat paw. So I'm gonna use that to start buffing this. <gasps> Did Nikki Tutorials just find a contour shade that is light enough slash cool enough for her see-through skin? Yes, that moment just happened. Oh, we are here and we're not going anywhere. Oh my God. Oh, I am shocked by this. Nothing is ever cool enough for my skin tone. So I finally found a cream liquid contour shade. Okay, we also have something a bit warmer. This is the color Golden Sun. And as you can see, this is warmer. So we're gonna use this to bronze in the same area. Oh my God, I love that shade. Oh, and like how cute is this? Like it's so cute. And I see everyone using it on the gram and like TikTok and I, I feel included now. And I'm gonna use the sponge to buff and blend this in for this part right on here. That is a lovely shade. They blend super easily, like, Done. I get why everyone uses it now. This is everything. Oh, I've been missing out. Oh, can I join the party at last? Now we're gonna contour more, but I just really wanna dive into these. These are the She Glam Color Bloom Liquid Blushes. These are everywhere on the internet. Look at them. They're so cute. Ah, they're so cute. I love this color in particular. This is the shade Devoted. Hopelessly devoted to you. They 
say that this is an innovative, I never say that word, a liquid blush, which is about to be your new fave. It's a gel cream formula that combines nourishing skincare benefits with a lightweight, luxurious formula to deliver an effortless flush of color to your cheeks. I cannot wait for this. I'm gonna mix probably two colors. I've been in love with cream blush lately. You know this. Okay, I'm gonna take Devoted, and that is going super high up on the cheeks because we wanna lift, lift, oh my God. We wanna lift, lift, lift. Coming up, ba, 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 ba. And then I'm also taking a bit of the color Love Cake. I am in the mood for cake. And that is going like right around it. And then using the sponge, we're gonna buff and blend this in. <gasps> Pigment, baby. <gasps> Pigment, baby. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. I was expecting pigment, but not this much. Oh my. <gasps> oh, and I know some of you are like, girl, that is too much blush. Listen, there's never too much blush. Mm -mm. Not in today's society. Everyone is in love with the blush and I'm so happy to be alive. That is a blush. Oh, these are going in my everyday routine. I am obsessed. Okay, you know me by now. I have to take a moment to go off camera to really you know, become Quasimodo tutorials and do these brows because I cannot do my brows on camera. It's the worst, I just can't. I'll be doing my brows using this. This is nifty. This is called the Brows on Demand two-in-one eyebrow pencil. We've got a pencil on one side, ding, ding. And on the other side, which I love, it's got a marker, like a little pencil, like a, like a marker. This is like a hair like stroke brush. Um, so I'm gonna be doing my brows using this. I'm in the color, I don't know what color I am. I am in a color, just a color. I think this is light brown. And I'm gonna be setting the rest of my face using the Insta Ready Face and Under Eye Setting Power in translucent because you know, my skin color is translucent. Gonna do the, I am living for this base. I said it before, I'll say it again. I was expecting opinions expectations too. And they're all just blowing me out of the water. Like, I'm I'm excited about today. Like, oh, okay, be right back. Hi, Nikki from the future here. At the time of filming this first impression slash review video on Chi Glam, I used a powder off camera. And something I wish I caught in that moment, but I didn't record is when I took the Insta Ready powder, I grabbed my new favorite sponge and I just noticed how it totally blurred all my pores on my face. And it just made me look extra, extra flawless. And it is a little tidbit that I wanted to include in this video so you don't miss out on it. So in the top layer is the press powder and then in the bottom bottom layer is the loose powder. I get some of that powder on the sponge right there and I just blur and diffuse and highlight these under eyes some more. And it just, all the fine lines you have are diffused, they're gone and just, oh, that extra bit of highlight. It is doing things to me that I wasn't expecting back then. Oh, it is so flawless. Like literally, oh, I love it. Ooh. Then I take the loose powder part and get some in the lid. And using the bottom end of the sponge, I pick up the powder, get it nice on there. I get rid of the excess powder in the palm of my hand. And using this, I'm gonna set the rest of my face. And you'll be left with the most blurred, flawless finish of life. This powder is a yes, 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 yes. Sets everything perfectly in place and make sure that everything is super long lasting. I am obsessed with this powder right here. All right, now let's go back to you. Pass, Nikki. Boop. Now I think these brows look absolutely right. I really like the pencil side, but what really won me over is this. The hair stroke marker, oh my God. The right tone, the right sharpness, like it is right. And when it's right, it's okay. And when it's okay, life is good, moving on. <laughs> Now for the eye portion, I found quite a few of palettes. She Glam was kind enough to send them to me. And one in particular that I really liked is this one right here. This is the She Glam Thin Within Palette. Has a little fish on it. And look at the colors. You know this is so me. And about this collection in particular, this is part of the Wild Heart Collection. And what they say about this collection is that their goal is quite simple. To make the world a more beautiful place. 
and part of that role is to protect the earth and its sacred animals. In the Wild Heart Collection are five vivid palettes. With the Wild Heart Collection, She Glam will be making a donation of $50,000 on the customer's behalf to the IFAW, an incredible organization that works on a global scale to rescue and protect animals. I love that, I love that. So you're getting glam and helping the world a bit. So I don't really know what I wanna do with this. All I know is that that purple and this and that and that has, and that, this entire palette has to go on my eye and I'm feeling like a little cut motion. Like I haven't done a cut crease in a while and it, it's calling my name. It misses me, I miss it. So I'm doing it. <laughs> oh, real fast, I also have this, the Chroma Zone palette. Oh, oh, wait, but there's another one. There's another one, oh my, just wait. Oh, these are insane. With the Chroma Zone collection, you unlock a world of extraordinary multi-chrome makeup featuring high shine shades that shift depending on where the light hits. So these are duochromes and from eyeshadow palettes to liquid shadows, eyeliners, highlighters, even nail polish, okay. They say once you enter the chromosome, you never leave. Hotel California. <laughs> I'm just dipping into this one right here. This is called the Chromosome Eyeshadow Palette Velocity. And I'm taking this dusty rose shade to kind of build a transition shade. So I'm starting to apply that to the sort of upper portion of the crease to get that transition shade going. I definitely don't want this to go all the way into the crease, just you know, like right there, that sweet spot. It's blending beautifully. It's got great pigment. I'm, you know, making sure I start slow and steady. So not too much on the brush at the first go because you don't want to like overpack the shadow on and then it becoming patchy because you can't blend it out. So soft, thin building layers of shadow to get the perfect blend and honey, this is going right. Then it is time for that purple. This is called Water Orchid. And this is like going right underneath that color that we just applied. Thin building layers to get that perfect blend. And this we're gonna pull towards the front of the brow some more. This is gonna be like the main crease showstopper. They blend beautifully. I'm also brushing it into the front of my brow because that makes every look 10 times more attractive. Trust me on this one. And then we're also gonna use this to kind of swoop out the outer corner towards the temple. Nice. Okay, and then to build a, just a hair more darkness into that crease, I'm taking the dark purple, and that is called Swim for the Win. You know, that's right. I'm taking that, Oh, that is pretty. And that is just to deepen up that inner crease portion a bit more, give that a little bit more depth, give that a little bit more, mm, and then just gently drag that across the center of the crease. Ooh, graphic. That dark purple shade has so much pigment. Okay, now I'm gonna cut the lid. So cut the crease and also create like an, a swooping like wing motion at the end. So Quasimodo tutorials up in the house. Let me just get this right. First I stamp the brush on to get the perfect cut. Really just using the brush to do the work for me. Okay, then from the Chromazone Time Warp palette, I'm taking this duochrome shade right here, and I desperately want that on the lid for some duochrome action. So I'm just pressing that on, on top of where we just cut the lid. Oh, that is stunning. Oh, oh, this is gonna be good. I told you this was gonna be a good makeup day, okay. I mean, get into this shade. Do you see that duochrome? Do you see it? That is good, that is good. Okay, now, oh, I'm feeling inspired. Okay, now I'm gonna go back into this palette right here. I'm gonna take that dark purple, kind of blend it out with that pink next to it called Coat Tails, and kind of create a smoky liner. I'm gonna take the dark purple and create my wing. So we're creating like this double wing action. Mm-hmm, double the treble. Okay, then pull it back to the lid. Then I'm picking up the pink and just kind of seeing where this is gonna go. I, I know you can feel the direction this is going in. And then we're gonna blend that over top, that liner and create like a little smoky liner stitch. Ooh, this is gonna be good, I can feel it. See where I'm going with this look, see? Now we have to like diffuse that dark purple some more to make it more smoky. Oh, see that, see? See the vision? 
Ooh, are you seeing it? Is it translating? I know it's translating, it looks good. This is like makeup therapy to me. Like this, just the blending and like seeing it all come together, like it calms me down, I love it. That looks sick, I love that. For the lower lash line, I am taking that dark purple again to build my base, make it nice and smoky and dramatic. Like I was saying, dramatic. And then taking that pink to diffuse and buff that out, make it super dramatic. This look is not for the faint of heart. This is for all those colorful, smoky makeup lovers out there. On a budget, ooh. Ooh. I live for the drama of this. Oh, okay. Let me quickly do the other eye off camera because I'm a, I'm gonna need a minute to, you know, match this up. And then it's time for more, more She Glam. Oh, uh, oh my God. This is a vibe. This is a look. Now I see you looking at my lashes. Now these are part of a eight piece lash set. There was this one pair that had cute little colorful butterflies on it. And I'm, it's so cute. Like it, adds a certain color and cuteness to this dark, smoky, dramatic look. And I'm here for this look today. Like I am living the glam life. Okay, now also part of the Chromazone collection is this highlighter. This is the Chromazone Multi-Chrome Highlighter in Lucid. I'm gonna take that cute little cat paw brush and we're gonna glow, baby. We're gonna glow. Here we glow. <laughs> oh, stop. Oh. Oh my God, that is gorgeous. This is a soft gold duochrome because in some light it's gold and in the other light it's bright pink. We love the duochrome in the house tutorials. We love it. Like I am so impressed by this brand so far. I know a lot of people are like, well, girl, you're working with them. What else are you gonna say? You know what? I'll save my final thoughts for the end of this video, but like as soon as you like alter your expectations and again, go in with an open mind, I feel like these formulas Pretty damn impressive. Okay, now I'm gonna line and fill on my entire lip using the matte lip liners. I am gonna go in with the color 523 to line first. Mm, good color. This is a good color. You see how easy these are going on? Like the formula kind of reminds me of the Kylie liners, the Kylie Jenner lip liners. Like they're super creamy, pigmented, and just glide on. I like these. These are good. I can feel it. Okay, and then I'm gonna take the color 03 to fill the entire lip in. Ooh, ooh. And by doing your entire lip using lip liners, you will create a super, super long wear lip that will just not go anywhere the entire day, like super long lasting. Pop a gloss on top of this and you're golden. I love that combo a lot. You know what, originally I wanted to pop a gloss on top, but I'm kind of loving the matte feel, but let's pop a gloss on top either way. <laughs> I'm gonna use the Take A Hint Lip Tint. Now this is a long lasting glossy tint, long lasting. And I'm gonna use the color Primp. Primp, I don't know what that means. <laughs> and I'm just gonna glide it on top. It's a nice pinky shade. These are super lightweight. Oh, okay. Not mega, mega glossy. I prefer like a, a gloss, but they're cute. They're cute. I mean, affordable, extreme, dramatic glam. We just did it today, honey. I think when you look at my face right now and no one would have told you that this is affordable makeup, you wouldn't be able to tell. If you look at my base, if you look at my blush, my glow, the eyeshadow, the lashes, the lips, you would never be able to tell that this isn't high-end makeup, that this isn't Givenchy, Yves Saint Laurent, and Chanel. You wouldn't be able to tell. And I feel like that is what's so special about this brand. A lot has been said and done about Chic Glam. But if we look with an open mind, you know, open mind, and we are willing to kind of alter our expectations, I feel like a whole world of affordable beauty opens up to us. I do feel that with She Glam, you're a fan or you're not a fan, and that's absolutely fine. When I look at the products I use today, I see some products that will go into my daily routine, that will go into my makeup stash that I will gravitate towards actively because these are some products that have really wowed me. Honestly, I mean, look at the material, okay? Look at the material, the duochrome, the glow, the 
it is beautiful. And I think at the end of the day, if you don't have all the money to spend, this is an amazing, incredible option. And I'm not just saying that because I'm working with She Glam. It's very easy. Whenever I'm doing like a first impression type video with a brand that I'm working with, it's really easy. If I don't like it at the end of the video, I'm like, hey, I'm sorry, I tried it, it didn't work, the deal stops here. I'm really proud and happy that I can inform them that some of the products are absolute hits and that I love working with them. You know, take of that what you want to take of it and, and make your own decisions. You know, your face, your wallet, your makeup, your look, you are the boss of it all. And I'm just here to tell you what I think of it all. So She Glam products can be purchased on SheGlam.com or SheIn.com. Have you ever tried any She Glam products? Let me know in the comments down below what you think of them. And how do you feel about this sort of like, oh, we can't really like this because it's affordable. How do you feel about this whole ordeal? Let's have a, a nice little open discussion. Again, open discussion in the comments. So much openness, except for my relationship. Uh -huh. Tell that to my ex. <laughs> I want to thank you so much for tuning in to today's brand new video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you purchase any She Glam products and try them out for yourself. Let me know what you think of them. I love you so much. I can't wait to see you on the next one. And until then, bye-bye. I love you. <laughs>